Department is Grave Lake, Illinois Police Department. Okay, and what did they do? Um, it was a school resource officer that is located at Grave, in Grave Lake High School. Um, my son called me. He lives in a different home. I lost my job. Um, my family is separated, so he lives with friends that are in the school district. I live out of the school district. Okay. And, he called uh, me in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? No, I said go ahead. Go ahead. He called me in the morning stating that he wasn't feeling well, um, requesting me to pick him up, so I did. I went to the school. It was in the morning. I drove uh, to the school to pick him up. And then I dropped him off at, at his residence, and I continued to drive home to my residence. When I arrived at my home, there was a unmarked, there was a person following me when I got out of the car. I parked in my driveway, got out of my car. He got out, and I knew he, who he was. He was the school resource officer. Uh, he continued to arrest me for driving on a suspended license. Okay, so let me back up. So your son was ill, you went to pick him up at school, and when you got there, the school resource officer was waiting somewhere and he arrested you for driving on a suspended license? No. He did not, I did, he followed me from the high school, which is to my home. Mm-hmm. And continue to arrest me at my home, which is out of his district, but he is a school resource officer. How, how did he know that you that your license was uh, expired? That's a good question. Um, he was in my home previously, weeks prior, with a meeting regarding my son because my with some classes. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't speak to him then. I just you know was introduced to him, and he sat here at my dining room table. And did you ever did you ever tell and, and, and let me ask you a question. When he arrested you, he told you you were being arrested for he said you, for driving with a suspended license? Uh, I got out of I was parked in my driveway. I got out of my car. He had already he was in his own personal car. He was not in uniform. Mm -hmm. uh, well, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait, wait, stop there. When he arrested you okay. hold on. When he arrested you he was in his personal vehicle? Yes. And he followed you home in his personal vehicle? Yes. And he wasn't wearing a uniform when he arrested you? Right. It looked like his personal vehicle. I could have been an unmarked car. But oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we, we can find out. We can <laughs> find out. Was He wasn't wearing a uniform, though. No, but I did know him as uh, Steve Tishner. No, I'm not, that doesn't matter. Let me, let me just try, hold on, let me try to explain something. A lot of the questions that I'm asking you, you may not really understand why I'm asking them, that make any sense. So some of the stuff you're giving me afterwards is not what I'm looking for. So just try to answer the questions quickly because I'm trying to get to some points that will help me help you. So I want to know what he did. So okay. just try to limit the answer to okay. a direct response. So but let me go back to this. He, he came to your house in a car that did not look like a police car. Is that right? Okay, and this was after you had come to pick up your son at school. Was your son in the car with you? No, I had dropped him off at his residence and then continued on to my residence. Okay, was he following you up to the point that you dropped him off, did your son off? I was not aware of it, but uh, yes, he was. Okay, so he had been following you from the time you left the school, saw you drop your son off, and then pulled you over when you got home? Can you, add, let me ask you a question. Did he ever add, state or explain why he kept following you all the way to your house as opposed to pulling you over at the earliest convenient uh, place? No. Okay. Not until after, after he had arrested me, um, that's when he stated that he waited for me to drop my son off because he didn't want to arrest me in front of my son. Okay. He was doing you a favor, he said. Okay, and still though, I mean, yeah. even even afterwards, he he let, he let you drive all the way home. How far is your house from your son's location? I'm sorry, what was that? I said, how far is your house 
from your son's location? It's uh, roughly maybe three miles. Okay. All right. And when he walked up to the car, tell me exactly what he said. He said, hi, Kim. Remember me? And, and I said, hi, Steve. Because I didn't know how to pronounce his last name. Mm -hmm. um, he said, why? Tell me, why are you driving? You know, your license is suspended. And I didn't say anything. And he asked me again, and I said, well, I need to pick up my son from school. He goes, well, turn around, put your hands behind your back. And I did. Okay. Let me... He said, I'm, arre I'm arresting you for driving on a suspended license. Do you have insurance? I said, not that I know of. Now, I wasn't driving. The car that I was driving was not registered to me. Understood. You know, it, don't, it doesn't matter. Listen, I'm going to tell you, it's real clear. Okay, you did a couple of things wrong. You had a driving on uh -huh. a suspended license. But for you to be arrested, I just want to know how this guy, how this police officer got that information? He had run, I, I believe he, from the weeks prior um, that he came to my house with the dean and the counselor from the high school to mm. speak to about my attendance of my my son. Yeah. He ran, I believe he ran my... He's my not, he's not, he's not entitled to, he's not entitled to do that. He's not entitled to run no. your name because they had some problem with your kid. He's not entitled I, to do that. I agree. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you, you have a complaint. I mean, regardless of what you, you know, what your son may have done at school, what they were trying to work out at school, it's not his place to run, your, run the name of the parents just for kicks or just because he's going to meet with them. He doesn't have a right to do that. Uh, I agree, but that's what he did. And in the police report, he stated something totally different. Okay, do you have a copy of the report? Yes, I do. Okay, what does he say his justification is in the report? That his justification for following me to my to drop off my son was to um, verify my son's district residence, the reason why he'd gone to that high school. They were questioning whether it was truthful that my son lived within district. <sighs> Okay, e e even even e e even so, what is that a major crime? You know, come on, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, how does that lead to giving him the right to access your personal information? I just don't see it. Uh, I I don't know either, but that's what they do. Okay. Um, and then he stated in the police report that he recognized me at the high school getting into the car. And then he so said. That's why. He Okay, do do run the plate cuz if he had, if he was following me and he ran the plate, mm -hmm. there would be no reason for him to pull me over. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm no, he knew you didn't have a license. He knew that. He knew I did I my license was suspended. Yeah, yeah, he knew your license was suspended because he actually ran your name at some point. And I'm going to tell you something else. He doesn't think anybody's going to call him out on it. But we are. We're, we're going to call him. We're going to call him out on it. Let me. Let me just. Uh, I, I've been recording because I. This is the least of the whole incident. This is. I mean, I was wrong for driving on a suspended license, but there is a lot more to it than, than just this. This is just the beginning. Well, tell me. Tell me the rest of it. Um. He he asked me to turn around, put my hands behind my back, um, that he was arresting me. I said, Steve, can you cuff me in the front? You know, this was early in the morning. Um, I was in my pajamas. And he said, no. He goes, you're a criminal. You're a bad mother. You put your son at risk for driving on a suspended license. Well, at that point, I got pretty upset. And I, I told him that he was a, uh, I used some swear words, that he was a mall cop and he didn't have anything better to do. And actually, when he first asked me to turn around and put my hands behind my back, I didn't know he had the authority to arrest me because I knew him as a school resource officer. I didn't think he had the authority to arrest me. So I asked to see his badge, and he got very upset. Um, continued after that, he, he put the cuffs on me, and we walked over to his car, and we stood by his car, and he called for a squad car, a 